Hey there, this is an app review for Easy Battery Saver on Android. Keep watching this video to learn about the different settings you can use in Easy Battery Saver, as well as the pros and cons I've found while using Easy Battery Saver. Firstly, I'll run through how to use Easy Battery Saver and some of the different settings you can use. When you first go into the app, you can see straight away the different settings you have enabled. Normally it has the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, data transfer and brightness options in the middle here. But my phone is recharging so it's a bit weird why they don't come up now. These settings can normally be quickly adjusted just by tapping them. Before I go into the different battery saving modes that you can use, I'll quickly look at these menu options down the bottom. Optimization takes you to the same page as if you clicked the current mode back on the home page. Consumption shows you what's been using the most battery on your phone. This is very handy to see if an app has been draining all of your battery. And finally, Tools just normally shows you a couple other recommended apps, but we'll ignore them anyway. So the different battery saving settings you can use include Normal Battery Mode, which doesn't affect your phone, General Power Saving Mode, which is the lowest form of battery saving, and then Intelligent Power Saving Mode, this is the one that I use, and this does a little bit more, and then Super Power Saving Mode, which seems a bit unnecessary to me, but whatever floats your boat. Finally, you can customise all your settings in the customizable mode. One of the do things I don't like about this app is that if you try to turn GPS on from your map, which is in the normal, which in the, is in the middle normally, it just redirects you to your GPS settings on your phone. This is honestly pretty pointless. Also, it always asks you to rate the app when you open it up, and that might not bother some people, but it bothers me. Some good things is that it's very easy to install and get working, and it does the job. It's effectively doubled my phone's battery life, which is cool. The interface is also really clean and easy to use. As you can see, I've pretty much taken you through the whole app in about a minute, so it's really not that hard to use. It may be tough at first deciding what battery saving settings you want to use on your phone. I was hesitant at first to allow B Easy Battery Saver to access each app to save battery, but in the end I allowed it and I've had no problems actually using it. I would definitely recommend using Easy Battery Saver if you want to save battery life on your Android.